For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do these problems, these two problems at the same time where you have this 80 Newton force being applied at point C. So they want you to find the moment that the force creates about A and the moment that the force creates about B. So the first part, to find the moment that it creates about A, first we need to find this vector which is vector AC and the moment that F creates about A is given by AC cross the Cartesian vector form of F. So first let's find all the points involved. A sits at the origin 0i plus 0j plus 0k. B sits at 0i plus we're going to convert all these distances into meters because Newton meters is a common unit and Newton millimeters is not. So this is 0.4 meters. This is 0.3 meters. This is 0.2 meters. This is 0.2 meters, kind of redundant. This is 0.25 meters. So B sits at 0 in the i, 0.4 in the j, plus 0 in the k, and c sits at 0.55 in the i, plus 0.4 in the j, minus 0.2 in the k. Now, vector ac is c minus a, but a is the origin, so this is equal to vector c. <coughs> which we have and it's 0.55 in the i plus 0.4 in the j minus 0.2 in the k. Now we need to find the Cartesian vector form of f. It has an x component, a y component, and a c component. The c component you can find right off the bat and you know that it's given by the magnitude of f which is 80 sine of 30 degrees this is the c component and it's negative because it's going straight down and it comes out to be negative 40 beautiful number now we need to find this projection this projection right here we're going to call it the projection of f in the parallel to the x and y plane this projection is given by 80 cosine of 30 and this projection comes out to be 69.3 now with the projection we can find the y and this would be the x the x is given by the projection times sine of 40 and the y is given by the projection times cosine of 40. This one comes out to be 44.5 and this one comes out to be 53.1. So the Cartesian vector form of f is 44.5 in the i plus 53.1 in the j minus 40 in the k. So the moment that F creates about A, like I said before, is given by vector AC cross F. So you draw your matrix I, J, K, AC is given uh, right here, found it right here, and it's 0 0.55, 0 0.4, negative 0.2. And the force is given by 44.5, 53.1, and negative 40. You redraw your first and second column. You have 0 0.55, 0 0.4, 44.5, and 53.1. You do your positive diagonals. And i times 0.4 times negative 40 is negative 16 in the i. 
j times negative 0.2 times 44.5 is negative 8.9 in the j and k times 0.55 times 53.1 is positive 29.2 in the k and now you do your negative diagonals 40, negative 44.5 times 0.4 times k is negative 17.8 in the k negative 53.1 times negative 0.2 times i is positive 10.6 i and negative negative 40 times 0.55 times j is positive 22 j so when you add this together you get that the moment it creates is negative 5.4 in the i plus 13.1 in the j plus 11.4 in the k the distances are in meters because we converted them and the force is in newton so this is newton meters this is it for the first part now for the second part they want you to find the the moment about b so to do that you need to find this vector that goes from b to where the force is applied and this is vector bc and you know that the moment that f creates about b is given by bc cross f now bc is given by c minus b and it comes out to be 0.55 in the i plus 0 in the j minus 0.2 in the k so we already have f which is founded for the first part so you will draw your matrix i j k the first one's b c which is 0 0.55 0 negative 0.2 and the f is 44.5 53.1 and negative 40 i'm going to move a bit quicker on this one we draw first and second 0 0.55 0 44.5 53.1 positive diagonals come out to be 0 minus 8.9 j plus 29.2 k and negative diagonals come out to be 0 10.6 i and 22 j when you add them together you get that the moment that it creates about b is equal to 10.6 i plus 13.1 j plus 29.2 k and the unit again meters for newton it's newton meters final answer for the second one please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you